Hello ladies and gentlemen, Jay Calloway here with another TFT video and today we are back with Hat History. In today's session of Hat History, we are covering the Bills hat. So, the Bills hat is a team coloured beret with a yellow shield. This specific beret is one that would be used and issued if you were in the US Army's first Special Forces group. This hat was awarded to players in TF2 to everyone who pre-ordered Left 4 Dead 2 on Steam and weirdly enough also in GameStop before November 17th 2009. This is in line with the beret that is worn by Bill, also known as William Overbeck, who is one of the main four characters in the zombie survival game Left 4 Dead 2, which is an iconic part of the Bill's character. The Bills in TF2 can be worn by all classes. You can get the Bills in two qualities, unique quality, being the quality everyone received the hat in and is the most common, and in total there is 113,544 known unique versions of. There is also a vintage version, and there's only 1,574 known vintage bills in existence, which is a bit strange. The vintage version of the bills was given to players who had been scammed or accidentally deleted the hat. Players started deleting their bills hat so Valve would issue them and reimburse them with a new vintage version until Valve caught on to how many people were doing this and stopped distributing them. You can't craft it, but you can paint the hat, you can gift the hat, you can trade the hat, to all that you like. The hat also comes in with a small little backstory where in a parallel universe there is a science experiment taking place. The Bills falls off a table and coincidentally falls into the Team Fortress universe. The Bills has one level which is level 10. It is a limited edition hat. There's no more that can be created as promotion for Left 4 Dead 2 obviously ended in you know 2009 on November 17th. The Bills is possibly the cleanest hat I've got in my tf2 hat collection mine specifically has a halloween spell on it which is pretty rare and uh, i think it's awesome if i could have one unusual from valve that i can't trade or any of that with any effect it'd probably be a burning one of these there is no craft version of this there's no uncrate version of this if you've got one you've got and if you've not you've not definitely think everyone who is a hat collector in tf2 should own a bill's hat and probably try and get one of the rare ones with like a Halloween spell or something like that on it. They're pretty awesome. I've been Jake Alba. I hope you enjoyed this little episode of Hat History. Comment which hat you'd like me to cover next time. Adios.